the lack of automation is the first challenge, whereby today the, the general situation in operations is that is the is the machines assisting people, right? In other words, is the the the, the 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 ITs or the automations being assisting otherwise almost entirely manual operations. Uh, naturally, the challenge for us is to to swap it around, to use human manual interventions as the assistance or, or as a, as a supplement to fully automated operational situation, right? So we, should, we, have, we have to swap that around. A lot of the people, a lot of the operational people, and also the procedures and processes are still pretty outdated, you know, pretty old style. And that is, again, a historical, historical legacy or baggage that we have to carry. A lot of the people sort of, uh, you know, been on the job for a long time and they, that's the way they do things. So in terms of the mindset, in terms of the automation process, the workflow process, uh, yes, we need a lot of uh, revamping, you know, in terms of the mindset and the culture and the rest of it, you know. But we need to change the mindset, find new ways of doing things, you know, how to streamline the process, how to automate it, you know, things like that. Uh, if there was the third uh, operational challenge, I would think is the risk at worst culture. Uh, which which is kind of almost like a second nature, I would say, in banking. Uh, people people in operations typically do not wish to take risk. Um, so therefore, you still find in many areas of operations where you have the, 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 the maker there, and then you have the first checker, and for some whatever reason in the past, you have a third, uh, second checker and a third checker. So this is sort of a pretty clumsy way of uh, arranging operations. And this is coming down again from the history where we have, as a, as a local Chinese bank, the, the, the risk of the culture of, of avoiding or preventing risk is, is very strong. And uh, on one hand, it's a good thing. But on the other hand, when I say there's a third checker, then you know what I mean, right? There are four people involved in one single step. And that is, to me, in today's world, and, and with automations in place, things that we can change, you know, in terms of risk aversion. Because the process is, is a bit old and uh, we need to revamp or streamline the process. Now, as a result of that streamlining or automation, then there are new, you know, systems or processes, IT processes, system, system processes that need to be put in place. Uh, in the past, the, it's no streamlining, there are a lot of manual operations. The system is assisting, the system is assisting the operations manually, or manual, manual operations. Uh, the systems, therefore, are what I call the, uh, the islands of automation, you know, islands of systems. Because the system is there to help the people, you know, doing things manually. The systems are only pockets of systems, you know, in pockets of areas. There's no, dis there's no connections between these islands of automations. So the challenge for IT is how we do a streamline, you know, end-to-end, straight-through automation process, you know, connecting all these islands together with the system means. Instead of manually, it's like printing it out and then key it in again, the next step. Instead of that sort of disconnection, now we have to connect them together through system interfaces, right? So this is the biggest challenge for IT. Having now put in place a streamlined process, how do we automate it, the entire process end to end, connecting the islands of systems together? The complexity itself is, needs, is, a, is, a, is a question to be, to be challenged. You know, it's an issue to be challenged. Uh, actually, I'm trying my best to, to simplify it, you know, to simplify this, uh, this complexity. Uh, one of the many many examples from five core from five core banking systems, stream, stream, simplified into one single core banking system. That's simplification, not complexity. A lot of the complexities are not necessary, can be avoided. Retail, wholesale, private banking, etc. Um, at the moment, for a lot of historical reasons, because of M and A, they're running in different silos. 
the, the retail business basically doesn't talk to the wholesale business, and the wholesale business doesn't talk to the private banking business, etc. Or the credit card business is pretty much on its own. So that sort of uh, disconnection or, 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 or isolated uh, business models have to be changed, have to be streamlined and, and connect together. The strategy towards this is to, as I said, bring them together, one, one bank, one bank, one team. So that's the, uh, the direction we are heading now. But just name another example. In the past, different business units controlled their own funding for IT. I want to do a CRM system, for example, a customer management system, then I buy my own system and I use it only for my own, you know, for my own business. If it's retail paying for the system, then only retail uses it. The wholesale, biz the wholesale people cannot and so far has not, you know, they have not used the CRM system of retail. So this sort of separate islands or silos of business model is, is undergoing fundamental changes. IT funding, for example, is now centralized. So IT committee and myself determined what sort of systems we buy, and once we buy that system or technology, we'll deploy it across all the business unit in the bank. It's not just for one, system, uh, one business unit anymore. So this is a fundamental change of the funding model for IT and for a lot of other, a lot of other expenditure.